Okay. I solved this paper actually yesterday. So for seven and beta for six and okay. for four and five carbon skin sir. Okay. And, uh, one day actually I discuss one basic idea how to treat uh, such kind of question. Okay, I'll tell you again. No worries. Suppose if I use a uh, one carbon like in this uh, dicarboxylic acid case. I told you one day that whenever they give a heat sign, the compound has to drive the process. How the compound will drive the process just by using the electronic effect. So simply check electronic effect here better. That acid will become like this. Acid is basically C double O H. So that H plus will suppose come here. And now it is having electrophilic side. So one, two, three, four, four membering we can't approach here, right? That is wrong. So just go for the driving force, C double bond O formation. This bond will break here. This minus N plus will make a bond and compound will become CH2 double bond C, OH and OH. This is in all condition. Simply go for tautomerism. You will get CH3, C double bond O and OH. Right. This you will get. In such case, what we have removed is CO2. Right. Second part. If I introduced two CH2 group, again the same procedure, electronic effect is C double O minus. I am actually uh, defining this process in parts. but Otherwise, the reaction will proceed in a single step. So here we have double bond OH positive. This is OH. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, now five member ring we can easily create. So just attack here. Now we are getting C double bond O. This O will attack on this. We are getting two OH, OH and CH2 and this. Now this jammed diol condition. So remove water in this case and you will get the compound acid anhydride. You will get the compound at this acid anhydride. Suppose if I take a 3 CH2, if I take a 3 CH2, again split the mechanism in parts. C double bond OH positive and OH. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This 6 member ring we can generate here. Now in that case, what we are getting? We are getting like this condition. O will attack here. Here we are getting 2 OH. Remove simply water. You are again getting cyclic anhydride condition. Right. If I suppose use a 4 CH2 group. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Again, split the mechanism in parts. This minus and this OH positive and OH 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nucleophilic attack not possible. So go for a driving force and re uh, release this carbon ion. This carbon ion now attack here. So CO2 gone. We got the condition like this jam diol. Now release water also. You will get uh, cyclopentanone. You will get uh, cyclopentanone. Now, if I take five carbons, right? Because they have given value one to five. Five carbon. In that case, again, you split the mechanism like this. This is not the correct way, but I am just explaining so that you can easily get the point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 membering is not possible. Just go for driving force. This anion you will generate. That anion attack here. Again, you have removed the CO2. This CH2 and CH2, CH2. Here is C. It will attack. It will get a jam diol. Now release water. You will get a cyclohexanone. I am using the same strategy here. So now it is okay. Now you can easily check in which case water is releasing in which in this case CO2, in this case water, in this case water, in this case CO2 and water both, in this case CO2 and water both. Now you please check. They are asking number of acid in which one of the product is CO2. CO2 is in one and two and three cases. Three cases is CO2. In water case, one, two, three, four. Four in four cases releasing water. How many cases CO2 water? Both two cases. So here two cases. So what they're asking? Four plus three, seven minus two. Answer is five. What is the answer? Five only, na? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Is that question okay? So you can easily solve this question whenever they give heat sign. Na, simply think about that the only the compound has to drive the process. How the compound will drive the process? Simply check. Only electronic effects is the tool which can drive the process. So simply go for the electronic effects. Right? Okay. Twenty five. Is that question required? They are simply asking same melting point. It is possible either in case of enantiomers, either the both should be enantiomer or they both should be identical. In those two cases, the boiling point, melting point, solubility will be same. So simply check uh, which two are enantiomers or which two are identical of each other. Should I discuss this twenty fifth question, Bachu? Sir, one option C. Option C. You simply uh, convert this compound. Okay, this compound is like I am writing in a simplest manner. This H front carbon H B R and C H three, and the back carbon. If you say here we have C H three, here we have H, here we have B R. We just need to convert into the Fischer projection. This is the front carbon. The other one is the back carbon. In Fischer, we always write front carbon on the downside and the back carbon here. The Fischer is basically real, real Y structure presentation. Fischer, Fischer is nothing, just a eclipse form, and both front and back carbon should be in the real Y shape. So front carbon is real Y. So left H will be placed on the left side. Right Br should be on the right side and CS3 here. Back carbon is reverse Y. It is the uh, like inverted Y. So left will come on the right position. Right will come on the left position and CST will be here. If you check both the compound in this Br on the same side, in this Br on the opposite side. So they are diastereomers of each other and diastereomers, they have different melting point, not the same melting point. Is that question clear? You must know how to convert the Newmans into Fisher, Fisher into Newmans. If you have that idea, you can easily solve this question. Which one? 28. 20. Yes, sir. 28 A to C. A2 C. C. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That simple, simple reaction beta. Uh, here you are getting basically phenyl and uh, COCH3. This is anyone can tell me the name of this reaction. What is this reaction when MCPBA react with carbonyl compound? And which one? Bayer Williger. Exactly. That is Bayer Williger oxidation. In Bayer Williger oxidation, just that nascent extra oxygen of uh, this uh, peroxide compound will insert in between the CO group and highly migrating aptitude group. And who is the more migratory group here? Phenyl. So it will insert between phenyl and CO and the compound will be like this. This compound is basically CH3 COO phenyl. So that compound you will get. So can you say migratory aptitude order generally we follow? In uh, no, no, no. In, in this case, we cannot use general migratory aptitude. Because the Bayer villager and the pinnacle pinnacle one, both in both the case, migratory aptitude is different. Yes, do don't consider the common migratory aptitude here. What is for Bayer villager? In Bayer villager, basically, the migratory aptitude is H, then tertiary, then phenyl, then secondary, then primary. So anyway, primary is on the least side. Na? Phenyl anyway will be greater than primary. Question number 19. This paper actually I didn't check completely, but okay, you can ask the question. Question number 19. Yes, sir, 19. Can Which one? 19. Yes, sir. The major product formed in the following reaction is this will convert into C double OH, C double OH. That is okay. Or it may convert into anhydride as well here only. And then NaOH reflux. NaOH reflux doesn't make much sense here. Yeah. That reflux may simply convert into this part only. And then H2S. That is something is wrong in this question. This kind of question actually I have prepared in the China campus. But... I didn't give this question. 
in my question actually i placed here cro2cl2 with carbon disulfide so if this question is what i have prepared that i remember cho cho with noh reflux one will become basically c double o h and one will become ch2 oh and then with the help of h2so4 they go for like esterification so in that case ch2 this i have prepared i think something is missing in this question by this way only that c can be the answer because finally i am getting this if i go for h2so4 again again they will become c double oh c double oh or they will go for n headed formation but there is no meaning because this compound i am getting in first step only something is missing in this question either it should be like a cro2 cl2 then only this makes some sense any solution is given for this question can anyone check because i need to download that uh, solution can anyone check the solution not given sir solution is there not, not given, given sir what the answer they have given c second option second option uh, then then uh, they have missed that reagent i think uh, kmn4 should not be there hey, have you solved this question what answer you are getting yes sir i'm on c c only na because there is no other way c can yes, be sir. the only possibility here otherwise they should change kmn4 because i have prepared the same question actually previously but i kept the first reagent what uh, itard reaction cro2 cl2 so that i can get uh, two cho cho then we can go for kenny's or intramolecular and after that intramolecular if you go for esterification we can get the compound bombay 29 for option b but i need to solve the question first CRO2 Cl2 that is retard reaction so CH3 will become CHO nitro as it is Q with OH minus suppose if I go for okay CHO okay that should be CH3 CO CH3 no that should be here they are asking okay uh, CH3 CHS CH3 CHO uh, it is aldol only. Then that CH2 minus will attack here. So we'll get the R compound like NO2 CH double bond CH single bond CHO. That should be compound R. If this is R, then CH3 MgCl. Uh, so in this case, CH double bond CH, CH OH and CH3. So that should be ketone. And now they're asking S. S, what the option they have given for S? Anything they have given? Failing reagent and tolerance reagents. Tolerance and failing. Okay, whatever. You can take any one of that. Tolerance or failing because aldehyde is there. So that compound will become double bond CH, C double OH, nitro. So this is compound T. Now you should be like SCOCL. CH double bond CH CO CL and then nitro and now they are expecting a CO CS3. So what is okay? Cadmium. Yes, yes, yes. You can use cadmium here. So the reaction will stop at ketone only. So this is so now B option Q CS3 CHO is okay. Failing is okay. And W compound. What is W? Anything is yeah, CH double bond CH CO CST. Correct B option is also correct, beta. That means failing reagent can uh, use that, sir. Ah, failing reagent we can use now. What is wrong in that? It is not benzaldehyde. No? Means still it is in re resonance, no, sir. Ah, that is okay. We can use directly benzaldehyde case only, you will get problem. Correct only, no worries. Okay, sir. A is also correct, B is also correct. C, R, T, U, R, uh, T, U, R, T, U. C is also correct. 
Q, it is wrong because Q cannot be CLC. Okay. 36, any doubt better? Oh, paper end. Okay, someone is asking 28D option. 28D option, 28. Yeah, which of the following can be in intermolecular? Intermolecular. So, this is wrong because orthonitrophenol, that is intramolecular edge bonding. Na? So, why D option? Orthonitrophenol is steam volatile because of the intra edge bonding. That boiling point becomes like low. Right? Anything else required? Bacho, 